Chris Dunganier, founder of the Conscious Education Podcast. This is a live session filmed in our Magnetic Mind Masterclass, which is a coaching program. If you hear me uh, referring to some of the guests or talking to people, this was recorded when it was live. And so you're not able to uh, comment or chat uh, to me, obviously. Enjoy this session and uh, do subscribe or share it if you think it's valuable. Bye for now. What an, uh, what an exciting time we're in right now. What an exciting time. It is, it is so great. I'm so happy to be here. I'm in the wizard's gate and I'm feeling awesome. Absolutely excited, feeling good every single day I wake up. Why is that? Why is that? Because the external world does not control my internal environment. I am a powerful creator. So I'm excited and I'm inspired. Why? Because I was excited and inspired in January. I was excited and inspired in December. I was excited and inspired last July. And I'll be excited and inspired when the recession hits in the next couple of months. I'm going to be excited and inspired no matter what. Because that's my, that's my choice. That's my vibration. That's where I'm at. Right now, we're, we're standing on the precipice of one of the biggest recessions I think that um, many of us will ever experience. It's going to be... It's going to be crazy. Um, they're calling it the global health crisis instead of, you know, 12 years ago, we had the global financial crisis. And uh, it's, um, it's, it's, very, it's very interesting to be here. And, and here's, here's what I know. Here's what I know for sure. How many of us have been uh, calling for a, a change to the world, for old systems to be brought down, for a new reality? There's so many of us who have been asking for a, a chance to, to create something new. And sometimes something new as you're creating doesn't look the way you want it to look. Right? Sometimes something new doesn't look the way we want it to look. It looks different. But right now, what an opportunity. The opportunity to uh, spend time at home with loved ones the opportunity to write that book you've been putting off, that opportunity to finish your Magnetic Mind certification, the opportunity to reconsider uh, your job and to look at uh, online business opportunities, the, the opportunity just to sit and meditate, the opportunity to rely on support of other people. You know, maybe it's a tough time, the opportunity to ask a neighbor for, for help, the opportunity to, to really just spend quality time with those we love. I think we're, we've got a great opportunity, a forced one, one we would, would have preferred we uh, didn't have to have, but at the same time, it's giving us such a great opportunity. And so the, the, first, the, the first thing is when you're creating, your current reality will move towards your desired reality. So we have your desired reality over here. It's a Tesla plate. And then over here is your, is your current reality. And you want this to move here. But sometimes your current reality moves. It's always moving. It's, it's never not moving. But sometimes as it moves, it goes here. And you think that, well, this doesn't, this doesn't look. I'm here. I'm broke. And I want to be a millionaire. Like, this is the way it should go. Sometimes you're here. And what happens is, you lose your job. So you think you, you don't think you're going forward, you go this way. Does that make sense? You're going the wrong way. And so sometimes it can look like you're going backwards. And when you're creating, you got to understand, we always have those two points in reality. What do I want to create? Where am I now? Those are the two points. And so we move what's in the way. And we say, that's what I want. We take the obvious action. And sometimes your current reality can shift to down here. Now, as a creator, you must not spiritually bypass the current reality, but you also must not reject it. Okay, so I'll, I'll draw this out. Uh, see, I'm gonna I'm gonna just quickly draw it out. We have current reality, desired reality, uh, and desired reality is let's call it um, financial abundance. If our current reality, I'm gonna show you guys in a second, is uh, you know stuck slash no money. Okay, so this is our uh, current reality, stuck, no money, 
desired reality, financial abundance, if that's what's happening, sometimes instead we can end up down here and we can lose, you know, lose our job. Or, you know, maybe there's some sort of crazy pandemic that happens, right? So we end up down there, right? We make that shift. We go from current reality to lose job. And so what we must not do is when now this becomes a current reality, this becomes a current reality now. And so what we must do is instead of go going back, we must just stay in the same tension of where we're going. Forward focused and action orientated. Do you see that? So we, we were here in the current reality wanting to be here. And what happened was we it went down to here. We lost a job, but we must stay in the same tension. Now, it doesn't make sense to then, you know, go, all right, cool. So I'm here and I'm going to find my way backwards to get a job. See, that doesn't make sense. Do you see that? That's got that there just takes you backwards. You end up in the same place. And so you must stay in this tension of what you want over here, the financial abundance. Maybe what had to happen, maybe what had to happen was, you know, maybe you had to lose the job because it creates space for then the new opportunity to show up to get you here. You see, it's you, you, you were in this tension, you set up this first tension structure, you said, I'm going to go from the current reality to the desired reality. You set that up, you said, that's what's going to happen. And so then you started moving it. And then you end up down here. And so the key is, is to just acknowledge it. You must acknowledge it. You must go, right. Okay, we're here. I'll give you an example. You know, right now, if you haven't realized, the world is shifted. We're not living in the same world um, that we lived in a month ago. And so the people that lose right now are the ones that still think we're in the old reality. We're not. We're in a completely new reality. And this is, this is always true. It's just very apparent right now, right? It's just very, it's very obvious we're in a new reality, but this is true always. We're in a new reality. It's not the same. And if we keep taking the same expectations from a month ago and applying it to now, we're going to find that, that, that our expectations are going to be uh, wrong. True. We, we, you know, we're not in that reality anymore. We're in a reality that says uh, the world is shut down. Uh, schools are closed. People are at home. And there's a lot of fear around. There's a lot of worry. There's a lot of concern. There's a lot of concern for the elderly. There's a lot of concern for our economy. Type in ES if you get it. We're in a different reality. And so... It's not about changing your emotional state. You know, it's not about changing your emotional state, but it's about following our process. What do I want? You're still going to want the same thing. What do I want? And then it's about going, well, where am I now? What's it like now? What's happening now? And it's about observing the obvious. You see, at the four day, um, we do an exercise where you, you have to uh, observe the obvious without judgment, just observe it, just define it and observe it. And uh, a lot of people, you know, they don't let themselves observe it. This is now. This is what now is. Okay, great. This is now. They waste so much energy. Where do they waste energy? Where are people wasting energy, wasting creative power, creating creative focus right now? Where is their energy getting wasted? That's right. Worry. Their, their past. Trying to figure out why this happened. Trying to figure out if there's some sort of crazy conspiracy going on. Right? Where are they wasting their, their energy? Wanting things to go back, you know? Wishing that, you know, this wasn't the case. Where, where are they wasting their... Yeah, trying to make it personal, you know? There's going to be hard times for people financially, but it won't be personal. The structure has changed. And, uh, and the people that win in the next six to 12 months, which is going to be every single one of us here, are going to be the ones that protect their focus. The ones that win are going to be the ones that protect their focus. Protect their focus. They must not have this focus on going backwards. 
they must not have their focus on the old reality. This is all that exists, the current reality and where I'm going, that's it. And so it's very interesting to know the most important thing for you right now is your focus. Your focus, where am I going? Where am I now? Where am I going? What needs to happen? We're not in an old reality. Those of you in the coaching certification, I think you have the absolute best opportunity right now. Right now, there are millions of people stuck at home with nothing to do. This is the best opportunity for people to be doing work on themselves, especially if you offer remote coaching and sessions. I'm not even kidding you. I'm not even kidding you. This is absolutely massive. Absolutely massive. Right, Edwina, right now we need it more than ever. And so it's this is what they need. They need to cre be, be creative. They need to get in the right tension. There is going to be lots of industries, the tourism industry, the hospitality industry, lots of stress. People are going to have challenges with their business. This is what's there. And so the reason we're having this conversation today is you can be in two camps. You can be in the, in the camp that has uh, things that we prefer not to, circumstances that we prefer that didn't happen. You can be in the camp that when that happens, they make it worse by getting all upset about it. Or you can be in the, the group of us that go, this just happened. Ah, that's not what I wanted. It is what it is. What am I creating? And that's the difference. That's going to be the difference. Does this make sense? Both groups have something uh, unwanted happen. True? Both groups have something unwanted happen. Might be sick relatives, sick themselves, a loss of a job, a business closing, reduced hours, having to have a child home from school that you now don't have time to do the things you want to do. And, and that's going to be reality. But how you react to that reality, true, is, is going to make all the difference. We're all going to right now be in a reality that we preferred we didn't have. And there's, there's two groups. There's ones that are going to make it way worse. They're not only just going to have a bad reality, they're then going to make it big, upset bad reality. And they're going to take a bad reality and make it a completely terrible one that lingers around and upsets everything. And then there's others that are not going to take it personally. They're going to go, you know what? This is it. This is where we are. Can't change it. We're here. What's my focus? Where am I going? How, where am I? What's, what's relevant right now? You know, I was talking to my dad yesterday and I was saying to him, I was like, dad, there are going to be so many opportunities. If people over the age of 70 need to be at home for four months, there are so many opportunities with that. What about all the businesses that need to support them that need delivery services? What about just taking care of those people and, and their, their mental capacity? What about dropping things off for them? What about all the people who can't go to jobs because they've got their kids at home? You think there's going to be a job shortage? There's going to be tons of people who can't take the jobs they normally can. Already, the supermarkets over here have empl employed 5,000 extra people just to keep up with the demand of toilet paper and, <laughs> and everything else. There's going to be new opportunities. There's always new opportunities because in every market, if there's human beings, there are problems to solve. And the way that they, uh, they solve, get their problems solved is they exchange money for it. There is opportunity everywhere. But if we stay holding on, give me a yes if you get it. If you stay holding on to the way it was, the way it used to be, the way it was last week, you know, you're not here. You're not here. You're not now. You're not here. And that's what we've got to get to. Magnetic line coaches in the certification, guys. Um, I, I did a little quick session uh, on Monday, but on Thursday, I'm going to talk about it even more. This is a humongous time for us. There is people sitting at homes everywhere waiting for coaching. What a great time. If, you have, if you're forced to be at home with your family, what a great time for them to invest in coaching and to work on themselves. It's massive, uh, absolutely massive. So, you know, look, uh, pandemics and things like these, you know, they, they turn up, they're here, they, they happen every so often. Same with financial crises. It's, uh, 
It's those who are truly in the wizard's gate. Uh, it, it's obvious, you know. Uh, I love it, Misha. Is uh, yeah, I love it. I love it, Robert. I love it. Is we have to understand that if you're truly in the wizard's gate, you woke up today and you lived your perfect average day. You know, after this, I am. I'm gonna go play tennis. You know, I'm do. I'm living my average day. It doesn't matter. There's no outside influence that is going to affect me and my internal environment. And this is what we got to get. What's your focus? There is always opportunity everywhere for everyone. It's it's those who have got the focus. And and some of the some of the greats, some of the the great business owners, they made it in the in recessions in time of downturn. They made it. Uh, you know, uh, Steve Jobs is one. Straight after the 87 crash, he bought uh, George Lucas's company, uh, animation uh, company, turned it into Pixar, sold it for like billions of dollars in, in the 2000s. Amazing. Uh, in, in the 2000 um, dot-com boom, a uh, bust, <laughs> the dot-com boom that turned into a bust, um, Bezos lost 90% of his value in Amazon but got through it, stayed focused and came out the other side. In 2008, Elon Musk, another great example, lost $120 million, stayed focused and he came out winning as a brand new car company when all big car companies were failing all over the place. And so here's your truth right now is nothing can affect you unless you let it affect you. Nothing can affect your internal reality, your state, your you -ness, and it's about you reclaiming that. And so how do you focus in a crisis? How do you focus in a crisis when everything's going wrong? Okay. How do you focus? Well, you're lucky because it's exactly using what it is that we do. Exactly using what we do. The first thing we're going to do, and we're going to work on it today. The first thing is we get into a true choice. What is it that you choose? What is a true choice? What do you choose to create? What are you creating? What are you about? And you know, I'm lucky right now I have these next to me. I have my true choices spelt out. True choices all the time, they're there. I know what I'm creating. It says at the top, I choose the end result of. So number one, we must have your true choices. What are you truly after? What are you creating? Hey, Leanne, nice to see you. The, the next step, okay, is we must be able to get into the feeling of having that because the magnetic moment is when you're in it, you are it, you become it before you see it. You must be it before you see it. In order for it to come to be, you must become it. And so we've got to see it. That's the magnetic moment. When you're magnetized to it, you are it. Step three is we must look at the now. Okay. So number one is we choose. Number two is we feel. Number three is where we, we create structural tension. Where are we now? And this is interesting because most of us uh, aren't that great at just observing what's here right now. Observing what's here right now. Like right now. I had a big chat with my team on Monday over an hour long explaining that we're about to go into a recession and uh, it's going to be, it's created uh, through fear or uh, fear of taking action. And recessions are different to boom times. And that's the reality we're in. And we need to adjust to that reality. We need to understand that in this reality, different things are a part of it. One of the great, there's great um, there's always, always, always great winners in recessions, education, coaching, um, retraining, new skills, um, technology, uh, great, uh, great winners in a recession. And so it's understanding we're in a new reality as quick as possible. We have to get into the now. Does that make sense? It's very difficult when, um, when a crisis happens to actually look at the now. What I mean by that is it's very easily to spiritually bypass. Oh, you know, this isn't, this isn't going to change things. Uh, you know, everything will work out if I stay high vibe, um, et cetera, et cetera. You know, 
and and I see these posts online, you know, uh, and I see them and it's like, you know, everyone, we just need to feel grateful and we need to, you know, and, and it's true, right? Uh, uh, isn't it true? You should feel grateful. You know, you should be a part of it. Uh, but isn't that true? Like, that's a true thing. I say, look, we should feel grateful. We should feel this and, you know, like, wow, everything, you know. And, um, but, the, but the truth is also is if there is a, uh, if there is a current reality that's like a, there is a, a group of soldiers invading your city, does, is being grateful the right approach? Yes or no? If there is literally an army of bad people coming, does it make sense? Grateful. So the answer is no, right? I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just not true. <laughs> hey, Cameron, it, it, it's just not a true thing to do, is it? It's just not true. Like you, you know, maybe you got to run, maybe you got to fight, you know, whatever, right? But it's just not true that you should do that. Sit there being grateful, unless you decide you don't want to live anymore. Like, not, you know, I'm not saying that's a good thing or anything. I'm just saying it's true, and so you know, they, they just don't, they don't, they're not mutually exclusive. You can, you can still be grateful and feel good, but take the obvious action. Does that make sense, everyone? Does that make sense? Like, you can still feel good and be grateful, but you still can take the obvious action. And so what I mean by that is, you know, right now, we're, we're in a new reality. And it's not about being negative. It's about just being it's about looking at it and going, all right, cool, I'm grateful for the moment. But there's what is the action I need to take? You know, it's not just sitting back uh, and waiting for this thing to pass because from uh, all the all intents and purposes, there's something that's going to be really different moving forward. Who, who agrees with this, by the way? Who can start to see this point? It's like we have to, as quick as possible, as creative warriors, as creative warriors, we have to very quickly adjust to a new reality. And, and you guys are my tribe. You are my family. I see myself as one of many... Uh, many voices in your world but when that when they are canceling as many things as they're canceling the impact on the economy it's it's not going to be trivial true who agrees that this is not going to be trivial when they are stopping um when they are closing borders and shutting the nba and and schools and universities and gatherings and hospital uh, so hospitality i meant to say restaurants and bars and, and uh, events and festivals. This is not a trivial thing. And so it's very easy for people to let emotion get in the way of this, okay? But it's not a time to, to get let emotion uh, get in the way. It, it's a time to be, and I want you guys to own this with me. It's time to be a creative warrior. It's time to be a creative warrior. Who's up for it? Be a creative warrior. A creative warrior is one who is in their end result, no matter what is there. A creative warrior is the one that's taking the obvious action, taking the action that will lead them to the end result. Uh, a, creative, a creative warrior is one that is like water, is moving just like water does and whatever's in the way it just goes around it i want you to be like water a creative warrior just moving to what they want they can put whatever they want in the way you just keep moving around it you're just the same you're just going right where you want you are a creative warrior you are in your end result no matter what and whatever comes in the metaphor it's like a it's like a ship sailing on the water and it doesn't matter how much the seas and the, the rain, the only thing that sinks the ship is if water gets in. The only thing that will sink your ship is if you let it get in you. Does that make sense? You've got to stay in your end result, in the emotion of, of who you are, what you're becoming. And there can be there can be rain pounding at the side of you know your yourself, the, your ship. You can be on crazy, you know. Um, waves of, of all sorts of things, but only what you let in is what will sink you.
It's time to be a creative warrior. Right now, you're in the perfect, the perfect place to go, okay, there's lots of chaos around me. But I I got I'm I'm in control. I know what I'm creating. I'm creating an amazing, profitable business. I'm going to change the world. I'm creating a healthy, happy body. I'm creating a family I love. I'm creating this. That's what I'm creating. That's what I'm creating. And no little virus or a scared society is going to change what I'm creating because I'm a powerful creator. True. Now, none of this little stuff out here is going to change my focus. It's going to change. I'm going, my focus is going to be right on what I want. Nothing else. A hundred percent on what I want. Nothing else. This is what I'm creating. I'm creating love. I'm creating joy. I'm creating freedom. I'm creating family. I'm creating this and I'm here and I want to pass this across to you today. I'm here. I got blinkers. I'm focused on it. I'm noticing what's going on and then I'm focused on what's happening. And this is so, so, so important because it's so easy to have your focus go out. And suddenly, instead of being this torrent of water moving around everything, suddenly you're going this way and this way and this way and this way and you've turned into a pond going nowhere. You're stuck. You're just stuck. And so we've got to keep you in that focus. So... Once you understand the now, which is step number three, step number four is to find out, you know, well, what's in the way? Unplug what's in the way. Unpack it, recode it. And then the last step is to take the obvious action. Take the obvious action. Those are our five steps. First, you choose your end result. Two, you feel it. Three, where am I now? Four, you unplug yourself, unpack it, recode it. Step five, we take action. So there's chaos around us. We need to stay focused. We need to stay focused, stay focused, stay focused, stay focused, stay focused. True? You must stay focused. You must stay focused. Stay focused on your true end result. Feel into it. Be it now. Remove the resistance. You can't control what's happening around you, but you can control you. We're all going to come out the other side of this, and it's how you get through it, how you end up the other side that really counts, isn't it? Mm -hmm.